Better step on it. He's got any sense. He'll be <clears> as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he would have tried bumping off Guy McCaffrey's wife in the first place. Or he dug it up properly. McCaffrey will break a fella's legs just for looking at him. What did you make of the kid? You believe the story? I think she Holy hell! Whoa! <laughs> Bill Barrow! <laughs> I think she was doing Oh my god. god. Casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Wow. That was insane. Why did they try to kill her? I, I'm trying to, I, I, I don't want to say anything because I'm trying to, I'm trying not to, I'm trying to focus I guess you'd say. Too close Phelps, way too close. Sorry. Pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Yeah, I know. Get in there and see what she's up to. Don't worry, I got it. Without being seen? Damn it! Get in there and see what she's up to. Okay, come on. Fuck you, bitch! Damn it! This is kind of hard. Either that or I'm just not doing it right. Probably me, not, probably me not doing it right. May have to wait a little while while she's actually on the phone. Oh. Get in there and see what she's up to. Oh. No, I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Oh. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. I'm going to be very clear about Get this done, or I'm Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark 
Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Let's go to his apartment. Let's wait till they drive off. Let's go to Bishop's apartment. Hurry up. Before they get some shit done. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble in it. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be <clears throat> as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McCaffrey's wife in the first place. Or he'd done the job properly. McCaffrey will break a fella's legs just for looking at him. What did you make of the kid? You believe the story? I think she Holy hell! Whoa! <laughs> Do a barrel roll! <laughs> I think she was doing oh that my god the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Wow. That was insane. Why did they try to kill her? We can't, we can't right now. Oh shit. Apartment 803. I'm trying, dude. I'm going as fast as this fucking car will let me. There's no fucking door. You the cops? I tried to stop them. It's it's room 803, left out of the elevator. Really? Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. <laughs> Sounds like that. Yeah, let's go. This fucker. Yeah. Knocked his ass out. Okay. Are you injured, Mrs. Bishop? I'm all right now. Horrible, awful men. Perhaps you should sit down, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, officers. I'm very flushed. I'll, I'll just sit down for a moment. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Just look at this mess. Not much help. Now, what is that? Oh. Damn it. Looks like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopkins. 
they work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's job. Okay. Look at a record. Incidental. Okay, let's go. He could jump out his balcony if he wanted to. <laughs> Matches. I think this is going to help us. The alcohol. Not sure this means much. What about the cookbook? Great Wall of Babylon. A replica hmm. of a replica. Okay. Hey, I'll take that. Doesn't tell me anything. Put it in your pocket. What's this? No good to me. What about the letter? What is that over here? Look, there's a letter right. Fuck you. Presented to Mark. Hmm. Damn, twenty grand. Do to earn twenty thousand dollars. Not everything here is going to be relevant. No, but it could be. Here's some lipstick. Maybe. Seems irrelevant. Alright, looks like we got all the evidence we need. Let's talk to her. Hey, sweetie. Circumstantial. Alright, madam. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Mm-hmm. Doubt it. June Ballard said she had a deal <clears throat> with me in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Mm -hmm. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Okay. I could, I could agree with that. We find him, or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Okay. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood <coughs> $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Hmm. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. Look here, bitch. Town detective. 
Are you sure you really want to know? The truth yes. Is, my husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. How comes to a lot of girls? Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, Detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. No. Oh. Your husband's gonna die. I'm gonna use your telephone. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks. Okay. Let's go there. Let's go, dude. Don't yep, don't forget your hat. Hey, don't 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 forget your hat, man. Come on, let's get your hat. Come get your hat. Pick <laughs> pick up your hat. Pick up pick it up. Pick up your hat. What now? Silver screen props is our next stop. Let's roll. <laughs> I was gonna see what all I had. Wanna be starlet and be producer's wife? Finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. Yeah. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Let's roll. You can drive. So where do you wanna go? I wanna go to this pop store. Actually, what I need to go do is get me some drinks. So with that being said, give me two seconds. I'll be right back.